Well, the 34th annual Holiday Festival of Lights kicks off tonight <laughs> in just about an hour. We love this event, but man, it seems like it's Early. come fast this year, right? The Low Country's Chief Meteorologist Rob Fowler joins us live from James Island County Park with a look at what you could expect to see at this event. Rob, of course, there are some crowd favorites, but there's always something new. There really is. There's always something new and that keeps us nice and fresh each and every year here at the Holiday Festival of Lights. You know, uh, we all like to drive around, but maybe it's a good idea to park the car here in the park center and just walk one of the paths. And that's where we are right now. Sarah Reynolds, I love this path. We've got the turtles, we've got dragonflies, there's a woodpecker over there. This is just a cool way to enjoy the holidays and, and I guess get a workout in too. Um, it really is. And I always tell people if you come to the Holiday Festival of Lights and just drive and don't get out of your car, you're really missing so much of this event because there are a lot of light displays that you're not going to see in your car um, you, when you get out and walk around and, and a lot of other attractions too the, that festival train that goes by the lake mm -hmm. you see other light displays there um, and of course the marshmallow roasting and the gift shops and all the sweet treats and um, carousels so there's really a lot more to do than just the driving tour well carolyn was asking about something new this isn't totally new but just maybe in the last couple of years dragon boats on yes. the lake yes dragon boat so we now we are offering a dra dragon boat program on select weekdays at the holiday festival of lights it starts right before the event opens at 4 30 p.m. You do have to register in advance, but you don't have to have any experience. You just show up, they get you on a dragon boat, you get to paddle and see all those beautiful light displays on the lake and um, just try something new um, with other people. So that's a really fun opportunity. So check out our website and sign up for that if you want like a different view of the lights. I know you guys do a lot each and every year, but you got to be excited when this starts because this is such a rite of passage here in the Charleston area. Absolutely. It's become a tradition for so many families and it's, it's, a, it's so, it's really like a you know, we love this event. We put so much time and effort into it, and it's like a labor of love. We spend so much time taking the displays down and putting them up every year. So we're very excited to get the festival underway, and, and um, it'll be here through December 31st. Okay, go, yeah. gates open in just a few minutes. Yes. So what do people need to know? Obviously where you are and also what the cost might be and all those particulars. Um, so this year, uh, admission is going to range from $15 to $40 per vehicle. Um, tonight is a green night, so that's um, a lesser traffic night and it's also going to be um, $15 in advance or $20 at the gate. Okay. So uh, no matter what night you come on, make sure you buy your tickets in advance to save $5. And we have a um, calendar on our website that denotes each um, evening and what the price will be. Okay. So yeah. It's all ready for you, ready for you guys. And as the sun goes down, the lights continue to come up. It's going to be beautiful here the first night. Feels really nice, too, to walk this path. It's not that cold and really not that hot. Let's turn it over to meteorologist Jed Kristoff back in the studio to give us a lowdown.